Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Terramaster F4421 uh, NAS unit. Uh, this is a budget type version, uh, but still comes with a very good processor, so it's a combination because Terramaster has a lot of uh, products in their lineup. Uh, they have uh, enclosures with more base, but with slower hardware, they have enclosures with uh, a reduced number of base but higher performance so this has higher performance hardware but it misses uh, the two NVMe slots so if you want to add an SSD drive to this one you need to sacrifice one of the base but this runs the Celeron J3455 uh, quad core CPU which has a base frequency of 1.5 GHz but it can boost up to 2.3 and it comes with 4 GB of RAM and it also has a slot that you can upgrade the RAM and add your own stick. Also maybe you are wondering what's with the mixed drives and some of them are not uh, dedicated for uh, this type of enclosures. Well, it's actually simple. Uh, we often forget that write comes from redundant array of inexpensive drives which producers today completely forgot about and they just uh, make up a firmware for their drive, do some tweaking there and then increase the price with 30-40% and call it special drive. Well, I'm not going to fall for that marketing scheme and I actually hate this strategy. So personally, I buy drives when I find them at uh, promotions. I buy the cheapest drives. Uh, there are some things that I take into consideration when choosing them. So they are not the lowest quality or... Uh, lowest model from a brand so i get good drives but the best price for them and i always buy them from different sellers uh, and different brands of disc so in case i get a bad batch from someone i don't risk of all the drives uh, dying at the same time because it has happened to me in the past uh, buying two drives from the same uh, seller uh, same model of drives and both fail at a difference of a few days, so both die. And I don't want to do that, so I buy each drive from one different seller uh, and different model of drives, so I avoid getting the same batch in the same time. And if we are talking about mixing hardware and not using recommended parts, I must say that uh, there are some other brands of uh, enclosures uh, that are trying to force you to buy their own recommended hardware and they set up a lot of compatibility issues so you cannot upgrade the memory or just use some of the drives that they sell this thing is getting uh, uh, really really out of control and uh, let's say it by name for instance Synology you cannot use any kind of RAM you need to buy the RAM from them you cannot use flash drives because they are going to get corrupted and you need to buy their own proprietary flash drives if you want to put a flash drive into your enclosure so these things are, are really bad and uh, they are very expensive and they do this on hardware very old hardware and a very high price for uh, they sell you uh, harder that it's all from five years ago at huge prices so that's what I like about this uh, Terramaster unit uh, Terramasters themselves uh, are uh, are self naming them uh, experts which let's be honest it's by far not true but at least they are not doing this uh, bad show trying to force you to buy upgrades for your drive for your enclosure from them uh, you can upgrade this with everything you i personally tried this with some memory that i've pulled out of uh, a very old notebook and it works right away no compatibility issues no problem and you can mix the drives and it will work perfectly which i really like so with the introduction done let's take a quick uh, look at the unit so you get an hdmi port you can connect this to a monitor or tv and see what's happening in real time with it you have usb OTG or USB host you can put here a, a keyboard the mouse you have two gigabit LAN connectors and it supports binding of the connection for a two two gigabit connection if your network router supports that uh, these are optional but not included and the power jack here it has two fans they are thermally controlled and you have thermal management 
in the BIOS and also in the operating system you can program the cooling fans they have an automatic program or you can adjust them uh, like you like to then in the front you get for base as I've told you in the beginning there are no NVMe slots so if you want to use an SSD for acceleration you have to sacrifice one of the base that are available so if you pull them out let's take a quick look at uh, the support so it's made up from a really good plastic very strong and there are some things that I like about such as quick fixing your drive you have these locking options and the drives are going to be held on silicone bushings and you have these foam pads so the drive stays in here and it's kind of suspended on this foam and all those silicone pads and this uh, also has some kind of spring loaded plastic so this takes a lot of vibration away from the enclosure and this makes it a better unit because it's rather silent when it's uh, under operation and with those taken out you can see a bit of the inside it's a razor uh, PCB that fits into the motherboard right there uh, I'm going to do a separate video and I'm going to take this apart for you to see better and that's also needed if you want to upgrade the operating system by the way this works with a lot of operating systems such as TrueNAS, OpenNAS uh, and other there are plenty of them I've tried actually several of them on this unit but I came back actually to Terra uh, OS system but the new one the 5 version not the old 4 version because the 5 version is now final and it's actually working very good on this unit to install a drive it's very simple you just line it up here in this cradle it goes in and then you are going to use this to fix it and it's fixed on this side fixed on the other side you also need to be careful with this thing this thing has this small pin that locks here this is rather fragile it's the only fragile thing so you should be careful when you are inserting this so this is not locked into position because you are going to hit it and maybe you are going to force and break it because maybe you are not going to see because that's rather small so be careful with that otherwise it's good also to push this in and then push on this so you do not force that pin to lock the drive and now we are going to repeat for the other drives and with the drives installed we are going to connect the LAN cable and we are going to power this on also another thing that I like so this is made out of aluminium and it's rather good enclosure it has very very big thick silicone pads underneath and they soak up a lot of vibration and they make this very stable and it will absorb those uh, noises that hard drives produce and all that vibration it's not going to be transmitted to your desk or to your cabinet uh, it makes the unit a lot more silent and also this made out of aluminium helps dissipate heat and also keeps the sound inside it's not plastic so it's not going to rattle and emit more noises than it should also in case if you are wondering with the unit you are going to get the power supply and you get some leaflets here that take you to their uh, website you have this uh, register now for extended warranty uh, and you get a quick install hard drive guide it shows you how to install the drives also forgot to mention that the drives support smaller drives and you have some screws that you can fit them directly and they give you a bag of screws here so you don't have to buy them separately you get some spare silicone bushings in case you lose them but they are only two and you get some labels so you can stick them to your drives to know which is which if you want to and you get a patch cable to quickly connect to your network in case you don't have one around Okay, so first thing first, you are going to go to TerraMaster website, you are going to go to the support and to the download section, you are going to search for your unit, and here you are going to find the menu that's not included in the original box, and then here on the desktop and system, you can download various things, uh, from which you are definitely going to need the TNAS PC app, because that's going to help you a lot, and then if our unit comes with the uh, four 
point something version such as 4.2 version and we want to upgrade to version 5 then it's very easy you don't actually need to open the unit up if you want to upgrade uh, if it's a new unit you're just going to have to download this version here for new TNAS device TOS installation and first we are going to download this one and the app the app is here it's already installed and this is going to find your unit IP and port and after it finds it you are going to press on this login option and it's going to take you to this initialization page then we are going to press on start here and we are not going to go with automatic if we want to upgrade we are going to go with custom and now it's going to take about three to ten minutes because it's going to check each drive it's going to validate them and then it's going to allow us to move on uh, further so now we have to wait a bit and after it finishes it goes uh, right away further so you have this option to online install tos which is recommended this is going to download the latest version of 4.2 something it's not going to download the new 5 version so you are going to go with manually install tos and you are going to select the file that you have previously downloaded from uh, here and now I'm going to select next and now it's going to install TOS 5 from the file that I have and if the file has unzipped successfully uh, it's now starting to install the new operating system and this is going to take up to about 10 minutes so we are just going to let it do its job and check it out later and when the installation is done it's going to restart and reboot and you have to wait for about uh, three minutes uh, and this page is going to refresh so you don't have to do anything else also you can check if your device is back online here so if i'm going to refresh this it's not going to be available and the device starts is going to also be displayed here but now we are just going to wait and in a few seconds we should have the new operating system up and running so let's see how this goes and it has booted up and we get this uh, warning that when we are going to create a new user not to use the equivalent of root and so on we get some interesting stuff there uh, now we have to set up an admin username and password for the unit uh, it's better to not use admin and root for obvious reasons and to use a very secure password if we need to confirm that we have then a security email if something happens like we forgot our password then we can send a verification code to that email and after we enter those details we get this end user agreement i'm going to accept it and we are running this New operating system and now we can actually select what we want to do and we can start working with this uh, enclosure uh, we can select the drive we can do anything and the new operating system it's a lot more polished than the older one and the best thing about it it has the new t ride option it's a hybrid ride so it's more flexible it's similar a bit with ride 5 but it has a lot of other improvements and that's it's uh, what i'm going to use on this device a very important note when you are going to create a storage uh, when you are going to select the ride option that you are going to use uh, regardless of what you choose here especially if you go with uh, t ride or uh, ride 5 take in mind that uh, when you are going to do that it's going to do a synchronization on all the drives and that will take hours and hours and if you have big drives it can take up to several days so be sure what to choose and if you want to choose otherwise you are going to repeat that if you want to change something and you are not okay with what you have chosen first time it's going to take you again several days just to rebuild that array 
computing system is similar with the old one. It has a new interface which has been uh, slightly updated. It uses better graphics, makes things easier to spot. It has a few more options, but uh, most of things are uh, well polished, such as, for instance, this hardware where you have direct access to controlling the fan strategy, the buzzer, hard drive sleep. Then you have options for power and you can adjust the UPS compatibility. You can plug in a USB uh, UPS or use a network uh, UPS and you can safely shut down the unit. You can program scheduled tasks and so on. So plenty of things to do here. And you can, of course, install the apps you have here, the App Center, uh, and you have a lot of apps from uh, which you can choose. These are the recommended ones. Then you have the all apps, 59 available apps that you can install. And then you have community apps. It gives you a note that maybe you can install a bad app for this, for safety reasons. But you can also get here TerraMaster Community Place. And here you get a lot more other apps. Another 109 apps available for this uh, unit. So uh, it has a lot of potential. You can install a lot of things. You can automate such as uh, offline US USB backups. So you can install transmission, flex server, delineate delineate server, and a lot more other things here. So you can do a lot of things, not only store files on this unit. Hard drives, you've seen that I'm using mixed one, uh, ones that are dedicated for uh, network attached storage, such as the Seagate Iron Wolf. And you, you have uh, IHM here. It gives you a task specially designed for those drives. And you can see some extra info, such as temperature, vibration, and shock. But if you go to hard drive here, and you select, for instance, this Western Digital, if I go here, I can see the temperature right away. Also, you have here an option to read the smart on each drive and you have a hard drive log and uh, all the drives are constantly monitored, even though they are not dedicated for this kind of uh, usage. So that was it for now. I hope that you have found this video interesting. I'm not going to make it any longer because we can talk a lot about this and apps and configure it and add the UPS and so on. But this is just an introduction, seeing the enclosure itself to install the drives, uh, some particularities about it, and uh, how to install the new operating system. And that's it. For other type of uh, queries, uh, I'm probably going to do some other videos, and definitely I'm going to do another video on how to uh, disassemble this unit in case you want to upgrade the RAM and see what's inside. I'm going to add that also soon. Until then, see you and bye-bye.